every week. Weird though. Get the work, put it up for my seats. No care for the IG, just no care. Do anything for club. Do anything for club. Do anything for club. Hey Battle Bays, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea, and it is Friday morning. I shouldn't be that excited. This is the start of my three 12 hour shifts working in the hospital as an RT. And um, yeah, it is now 6.07. I honestly woke up a little late this morning. I usually try to be up like around five o'clock. But y'all, I could not get to sleep last night. I couldn't get to sleep last night. I should have taken my medication, but it was just way too late before I realized, yeah, it's just not going to happen. Sleep is not going to happen for you tonight. So yeah, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night and I'm I'm going to regret it later. I already feel it. I'm going to regret it later. Um, I didn't do much today. Um, I feel like I look crazy. I'm trying to rush out, but I did not put on makeup. I feel like I have leftover <laughs> mascara from a few days ago yeah um yeah i have on my blue lindau scrubs this pair of scrubs is actually one of my favorite pair not this color but um it's one of my favorite pair one is the hospital colors like the scrub colors and two it just look really nice i have like four or five um four or five scrubs this exact one in different colors so yeah um, I'm actually rushing out. Like I said, I got up a little bit late, so I'm about to go ahead and go and grab my stuff and head out. I already heated up my car because it's a little bit cold outside, but for this weekend, because it's the weekend, obviously it's my weekend to work, I wanted to bring you guys along just to kind of show you the day in the life of a military army RT and how my work how my work stretches usually go so let's go ahead and go we're already late enough i want to stop at starbucks to grab a drink and that's about it i don't want food because i want hospital food i want to get i'm hoping they have hash browns and bacon at the very least potatoes and bacon at the very least because it's all i want right now so let's go ahead and head out the door you know what's crazy i'm starting to realize that um <laughs> I need um okay wait which one should I put where hold on y'all gotta get situated I like to put my ID and my cards and all that stuff in this little thing whatever but um, I'm starting to realize I might need another bag I feel like with everything that I okay it's hot in here now I feel like with everything that I was carrying previously worked perfectly fine with this bag but now that i have all of this stuff like study material and all this other stuff that i have yeah i might have to temporarily get a, a different bag um and hopefully i have enough time to stop at starbucks it's looking like i might not um i'm gonna try anyway though usually if i'm out by um 6 10 i have enough time to do the things that i want to do like stop and get food and stuff like that but if it's past that then i don't and it is currently 6 16 so we gonna see i gotta be there by 6 45 y'all so i went ahead and vetoed the whole 
Starbucks idea because why is it not even 6 30 in the morning and there's traffic I stopped at Starbucks to grab a drink, but they were moving so slow, I ended up pulling off at, at 20 after six, because I'm like, all right, I need at least 10 minutes to get to the gate, because I know if I can make it to the gate by about um, 6.30, then I'm gonna be on time. Like, I'm gonna have a few minutes to spare to walk into the hospital and stuff like that. So I ended up just pulling off and leaving. So I'm gonna see you guys at some point later in the day. Starbucks was a no-go, so hopefully they have the breakfast and stuff that I want. I'll probably just get an apple juice or something from the cafeteria. Hey guys, what's up? It is about 6.15 p.m. and my shift is coming to an end. Um, so far, so good. Everything today, honestly, went surprisingly it went perfectly fine there wasn't really much to do right now i'm just working on some s bars and finishing up some paperwork that way i'm ready for a report when night shift comes in and in about 30 minutes they'll be here um but yeah that's about it i'm just hoping to make it through this last 30 minutes with no noise no noise at all um i did have to go upstairs to give a pr and albuterol treatment but other than that it's been perfectly fine i did not finish my water though i have a few more minutes to get down to that six o'clock mark and close i can make it i'm about to do it right now but yeah i'm about to go ahead and um finish this so i can get ready to go that is one of three 12 hour shifts out of the way Welcome to day two of my three twelves in a row. I just finished getting ready. Um, and I'm about to go downstairs, grab my bag and stuff, and head out. I just did my hair. But y'all, I have a scarf in the car that I'm going to tie on my hair because, like, my little wannabe swoops, because I don't know how to do my hair. My little wannabe swoops aren't staying in place the way I need them to stay in place. Um... So I need to tie it down on my way to work. It is six o'clock, so I'm actually doing pretty good on time. But knowing me, let's see what I'm about to do to fuck that whole thing up. I have to come downstairs and grab my favorite piece of jewelry, put on my Apple Watch, Sam sliding again. Sam, leave my blinds alone. She fights the cats outside of the patio and she messes like flip my blinds and stuff in the process come on get on get on get on the heck uh, y'all i got this cover and this apple band off of amazon and i really like it i really like it but for whatever reason throughout the day it just gets so tight so sometimes i have to take it off it's irrelevant but yeah mm-hmm Okay, so I got my 
stuff over here that I'm about to go ahead and throw back into my bag real quick. I really need to study. I really, really need to study. If I don't pass this test with a score that I want to pass with, I have nobody but to blame myself but myself if I just keep doing this. Ugh. got in the car but before I pull off y'all I keep this little scarf in my car for this exact reason when my hair ain't doing what I need it to do because as y'all know I don't do anything on my hair I keep it in either a ponytail like a bun thing or these little twists off to the side so the one thing that does it the one thing that actually brings it together and make it look decent or nice is when my little edges are laid down and it's not doing it this morning. So when it's not doing it, I just throw this on and take it off when I get to work. I don't think I'm gonna be stopping to get like anything like Starbucks or Dunkin' Donut or anything like that. I'm about to just go straight to work. Um, Cause I have my water here. I got some snacks. Um, I'm hoping, I'm not charged, well, I'm not lead today. I'm trying to see how I want to sit this because y'all this be leaking for whatever reason when you lay it down um but yeah I'm not lead or anything like that today so I should have um a floor that way I can kind of pace my own so so I should be done with my treatment my eight o'clock treatments um early that way I can go down and grab some breakfast and it not just be scraps and leftovers and stuff like that because I'm telling you like if you make it down there anytime past like 8 15 8 30 you you it's it's leftovers you're picking over everybody else's scraps the the rest of the eggs be super super watery the the potatoes be all mushed and watery somehow so if it's too late i don't even go down there or i'll just go down and get like something small but um yeah i should have enough time to like pace myself today and let's just see how today goes so far i woke up and it's going good. Today is going to be a good day. I'm always, wait, <laughs> I'm always telling myself that, but today is gonna be a good day. It is 6.10, so I'm actually running right on time. So let's go ahead and go before I end up running late. I can't put my finger on it. Y'all, tell me why. Okay, so here's the thing. I still get so confused with my schedule, right? Because I keep feeling like it's a Monday and I'm working through like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I'm not working Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I am working Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So here I am up feeling like it's a weekday, but it's the weekend. It's Saturday. I just came all the way to this gate and it's closed because it's Saturday, okay? got my id out and everything ready to go through the gate but i'm so glad that i left out early and i'm like 10 minutes ahead of schedule because now this is giving me just enough time to get to the other gate that's actually open to get to work on time so this is like the second time every single time it's a weekend this is how i feel but it's fine or whatever i'm about to finish this my music dang um, that's dumb you know what i'm about to speed
what's up so i am almost done with my first rounds of the morning and then i should be done until about noonish unless like i get like a prn call or something like that but i had to put what i was just doing on hold just for a little bit and found a nice place to stop because it is 0840 they stopped serving breakfast at 0900 <laughs> time management time management is key but yeah i had to let them know like i gotta go get breakfast okay i didn't get anything this morning so i'm about to run down grab some breakfast come back drop it back off and then go back to the icu to finish up the stuff that i was just doing i got downstairs too late yet again but at least the freaking eggs and watery only because the cooks that i really like were down there so i'm pretty sure that's why so i ended up just getting some bacon and some eggs so i guess that's all i'm eating this morning is bacon and eggs but i'm about to go ahead and head back over to the unit so i can finish up um my treatments and stuff like that and then come and sit down and eat today's gonna be a good day y'all tell me why i'm almost done i got a few more hours to go i'm using my 59 minute rule that's where they send out basically whoever was on shift when the email got sent out at some point within that pay period you get to leave an hour early if it's convenient for you to do so i'm using mine today but y'all my co-worker just called me out because here i am it is uh 16.49 what is that 4.49 my water is still at 12 o'clock it's actually over 12 o'clock and i'm sitting here right now and i have to pee so i'm about to go and pee and i'm about to come and chug this water and see where i make it y'all i have to make it to six o'clock by six y'all think i can drink all this i'm about to drink i'm gonna drink it down to two o'clock when i come back i'm gonna drink it down to two o'clock <laughs> Hey y'all, what's up? I just finished work. I just got off. Um, it is 18.15. I got off an hour early. I'm pretty sure I explained the 59 minute rule earlier. But um, yeah, I'm hungry and I need to go and get some food. And I'm thinking I want to go to, um, I'm thinking I want to go to the mall and grab some bourbon chicken and some teriyaki chicken with rice y'all i don't know what in the world is on these glass these uh shades case i actually forgot i had these y'all i forgot i had these super cute gucci shades uh, and i forgot how cute those are i don't know when i'm wearing these i actually want some really dark shades that you can't see my eyes through those are cute i forgot all about those anyway Today was uneventful, which I am grateful for. Uh, is that? I think that's night shift coming in right now. Um, I am grateful that today was completely uneventful. Um, nothing too crazy. We what did we have? Do we have a? We had a rapid response um, on a psychiatric ward, but that's about it. It was not like they didn't need respiratory. We just have to respond just in case they do. So that was pretty, you know good thing everything works out perfectly fine with that um this is my second 12 in so my second 12 out of three 12 hour shifts that is done and over with and then i come in tomorrow i work 7 a.m to 7 p.m and then i'm off for i think like two days let me double check i know I'm, oh actually y'all hold on because i think one, two, three, four, five. Let me check because I feel like I'm off all next week. Um, let me see. So, 
because tomorrow is the 19th because I put in leave so I'm off the 20, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, and 26th, y'all. Your girl is off, hold on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Y'all, tomorrow is about to be such a good shift because I am off seven days in a row. I'm off seven days in a row. My husband is about to be coming next week to come and see me, y'all. Yes, this is perfect. So, <clears throat> yeah, let me go ahead and get over here to this mall so I can get my food and be done and go home. Hey, y'all. Welcome to our third 12-hour shift and our last 12-hour shift. And we about to be off for seven days. But um, <clears throat> I just got up. I'm running a little bit behind because it is uh, 17. Oh, 17. It is... 6 17 and y'all know i like to try to be out by um 10 after i'm trying to put my freaking pandora bracelet on i like to put it on over my watch and oh, hold on let me get my life together i really wish they made these things easier to put on by themselves unless i'm missing something unless there's a way and i just don't know it so now that i got that on let me take my watch off and put it over well, in front of it is 618 and I'm, I'm i'm doing this as if it's a priority anyway um i was running just a little bit late this morning anyway i was just so tired y'all like i was up pretty late trying to call myself studying so what i'm about to do on my way to work is listen to some practice questions because that's what i've been doing like i just like to wear it like that like you can see it just a little bit sometimes i wear it on opposite arms should i do that Nah, I'm more just like this. I like that. Hold on, y'all. I gotta switch arms again. Like this is a priority. It's so much easier to put it on this arm. Anyway, um, yeah, I was listening to some practice questions this morning, just trying to study just a little bit, and I think that's what I'm about to go ahead and do on my way to work. It is 6.19 now, so obviously I'm about 10 minutes behind the schedule that I like to have, but it's fine. I'm not going to be stopping to get any, to, to getting, I'm not going to be stopping to get any breakfast or anything like that, kind of like I did yesterday. I'm just going to go straight there and go down to the cafeteria, but this time I'm going to the cafeteria early. I'm not seeing no patient because again, I'm still like shadowing a little bit and being on somebody else's schedule is kind of hard for me to kind of clock my own schedule so it's like even though i don't have breakfast and i say hey i don't have breakfast but then i have my stuff and then i'm trying to shadow and pay attention to other people's stuff i don't get breakfast they don't pay attention to i just said i didn't get no damn breakfast but um yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and let them know, hey, before we see anybody, I'm going to get my food first if I'm about to be with somebody. Hey, y'all, what's up? I just made it to work with literally a minute to spare. That's the only reason why I'm sitting here talking right now. But welcome to our third and last 12-hour shift. It's an RT. And yeah, I'm tired. I won't even lie. I feel like I was up later than I wanted to be last night. Um, even though I went to sleep earlier than I usually do, I wanted to go to sleep a little bit earlier, but it's fine. It's whatever. It's the last day. And then I'm off for seven days. I'm so excited about that, but, um, I'm about to go ahead and go upstairs. I'm tired. I'm just tired. Y'all, I put on my lavender colored scrubs today and I'm actually feeling kind of cute because these things are so cute. I didn't realize I was going to like this color as much as I do or light colors at at that as much as I do but I'm liking this color and there was some similar ones to it that I want to go and get now but let me let me let me stop playing I'm about to go upstairs before I'm actually late there's no way I'm gonna make it here early just to end up late in the end because I'm sitting here talking um yes I still do this even when I walk in a hospital I have to turn some music on Oh, 
let me tell y'all about how I low key just got pissed off. But first, I gotta get my. Oh, my bad. Wait a second, let me put this up. And tell me why I got bacon and eggs again. Bacon and eggs again. Um, I Listen, yesterday I could get it, right? Cause I made it down there like 10 minutes before they close. Today though, I got down there a whole hour before they close and still waited 30 minutes because apparently they decided that they didn't think that many people work on the weekend, so they just decided to not make enough food for people that come down there. So by the time I got down there, you have other people that's going down to the cafeteria because I'm like, all right, forget it. You don't have potatoes, cool. Let me just get bacon and eggs. This man puts a scoop of eggs on my thing and start giving me like these little bitty chunks, like literally the littlest chunks of bacon. And I was like, I thought you said they're about to make some more bacon. Like, I don't want these scraps, can I like, I'll wait for the bacon but then more people started coming and he's like looking frustrated and he's like oh we didn't think this many people was gonna come it's only about 12 people in this line you didn't think more than 12 people work at the hospital on the weekend it didn't make any sense to me and so um when the bacon finally came out and I was like okay I want six pieces of bacon and he goes they, they want bacon too okay I want six pieces, so go ahead and give me my two scoops of eggs and six pieces of bacon, and you can make some more bacon because you don't close this cafeteria until nine o'clock anyway. How is it 30 minutes before they close and they ran out of food completely? So yeah, that was kind of irritating. No wonder why I don't get good breakfast on the weekends. Now I know, they just don't make any. So yeah, it's crazy because I feel like Everybody that went down there, like the nurses and stuff working, I feel like everybody had the same idea we had, and that was to get report, do our first rounds and stuff like that first, and then go get breakfast, because that's when everybody started coming down, and he's like, we didn't think this many people was gonna come. It's not my problem, give me my six pieces of bacon. But I'm about to go ahead and eat my bacon and eggs, and chart a little bit, and see y'all in a little bit. You can use a device called a speaking valve, you may also have heard of a PMV. This is a passive mirror valve. And that passive mirror valve operates as a one-way device. So if tracheostomy tube looks like this. That speaking valve allows air to come in. Hey y'all, what's up? I was just coming back home to check in real quick. Just to let y'all know how my ship is going so far it's actually going really good it is 1603 so i have about yeah i have three hours left to go before i am off and then off for seven days y'all i just cannot wait this is like a mini vacation that i don't even know what i'm about to do but i'm about to do something but yeah i'm excited i'm not doing anything right now i'm just sitting here studying a little bit for the tmc because as y'all know i hope y'all can hear me because i have y'all sitting on top of my heater y'all sitting on top of my heater right here but as y'all know i take my tmc to get my respiratory therapy license on the 14th of december and so i've been trying to study but i'm, I'm i don't know i'm nervous i feel like i'm studying enough but i don't know i don't know i feel like i'm studying and i know the stuff but do I know? Like, I don't know what I don't know until shit hits the fan and I'm sitting there taking that dang test. So, I don't know. I feel confident with the material. I just, I just don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I feel like I'm too confident right now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just sitting here. I'm honestly about to go ahead and finish up this, this module because it's been about two hours I've been studying, like, in between my patients because right now I'm in an ICU so I have three patients in an ICU one is on a bench so I have one that don't have any meds at all he's on all PRN meds I have another that is only on what's he taking on Advair he takes Advair in the morning and then I have a um, vent patient that has a trach so we have to do some trach care um, we we're trying to wing her off or 
see how we're trying to wean her down to see about placement in a skilled care facility. So we're doing spontaneous breathing trials and stuff on her and she's doing pretty good. They did call us down because she kept desatting and they couldn't, desatting, they, she kept desatting and they couldn't, um, they didn't know why. Um, her sensor was just not working correctly. So she's perfectly fine. And now I'm back here and I'm sitting here studying. So. Um, this shift has been going really good. I've actually been learning a lot with the RTs that I'm with right now. So yeah, I'm excited, I'm happy, um, I'm chilling. But I'm about to go ahead and get back to studying real quick. And then probably go take a walk because I'm getting tired. Hey y'all, what's up? I am back to finally close out this video. I got off work about two hours ago now but i stopped at food line so i can grab some watermelon a few other things and then some wine because i'm about to finish off the bottle that's in my fridge tonight and that way i got a backup if i need to drink some more tonight and then obviously for tomorrow but y'all i made it we made it through our three twelves in a row and now i'm off for seven days so i'm about to enjoy that a lot i cannot wait for trey to get here in a few days i can't wait i can't wait anyway um yeah i just wanted to come on and close this vlog down i really hope you guys like this video if you did like this video please 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 give it a thumbs up that way it can get into the algorithm even if you don't want to subscribe just please give it a thumbs up that way i can get my videos out in the algorithm um if you like this video let me know through like through a comment so i can know to kind of make more videos like this and i am going to see you guys in my next video bye